guys! I hope that you are having an awesome week. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to show you how I do my refresh. This is my refreshed hair and in a second you'll see my straggly, really hurt four day hair. So this is four day hair that I just refreshed. I haven't washed my hair in four days and I've really got this routine down. It's really simple. I don't use a ton of products and the products that I do use are from the drugstore, so very affordable. And I think it's just easy to do, and you get fantastic results. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. And before we get started, if you are interested in makeup or curly hair related videos, then make sure you subscribe down below. And yeah, let's get to the video. All right, so let's take this bad boy down. This is what we're working with. My hair is pretty much like a 2C kind of hair type. It kind of varies. So this is my true four day hair. You can see it's definitely lost some definition. It's been up in a bun. Look at these ends, they're straggly and straight. They are a bit damaged, but we're gonna work with what we got. So I'm gonna show you my routine and how I make it look decent presentable, something along those lines. We just really want to get this hair to look like it's not ratty and old, even though it is. So I like to keep this pretty simple. Um, I don't want to use a lot of products, a lot of time. This is what I realistically do when I need to do my hair or get it to look presentable on the daily, like when I'm going to work or anything like that. So yeah, let's get to this. Number one, we need a good hair clip. Even though I like to keep this super simple, I found that if you section your hair off, you get way better results when it comes to refreshes. If you're just spraying all over, I tend to not get like those middle pieces and it makes a difference. So number one thing is get a good hair clip. This is just like a little alligator clip. And I'm gonna just section off my hair. I don't do too many sections. I think I'm just gonna go with three, pretty much one big back bottom section, and then two front sections, and that's pretty much it. But sectioning is important, so I do recommend doing some kind of sectioning so you can make sure you get like the middle of your hair nice and damp, and you can apply your products. We're not gonna use a ton of products, but let me show you what I do. So I'm just going ear to ear, taking this top front area, and I'm just going to clip it up for now. With this relatively large bottom section, we're going to get it nice and damp. And for that, I'm going to use this spray bottle. I'll link it down below, but what I really like about it is that it's a super fine mist, and it was only like maybe 6 or $7 on Amazon, very affordable, but it gets the job done. We want to get our hair to a truly damp state. So it does need a good amount of water, but it's nowhere near as wet as when you like just get out of the shower. It's more like that towel, blotted kind of hair. Um, so we're going to use this and just get our hair nice and damp. I don't truly finger comb my hair, but I'm raking lightly as I'm spraying, and you do get some of that hair shed um, out while you're doing that. I don't separate it quite as much as I do when I'm detangling in the shower with conditioner, but I'm doing a little bit of like a raking action and getting some of that like debris and dust and um, old hair out of my hair. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, I'm just feeling around to see if there's any sections that I missed. I have to remind myself always to really get the roots decently wet because I found a big difference in terms of volume. When you add that moisture back to your roots, you're able to get like that spring back. You'll get way better results when you make sure that you pay attention to those roots. Because we still have product in our hair from the original wash day and any additional like refresh days, I'm going to keep this pretty simple and apply just a little bit of product because the water pretty much has reactivated the products that were already in it. So we don't need to apply a lot, just a little bit, but there's two things that I like to apply. A leave-in conditioner and a soft gel. For the leave-in conditioner, I'm going to use one of my favorites, the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. 
This stuff is great. It's just so lightweight, but it really helps protect my ends and just overall give my hair a little boost of moisture. I feel like this is my favorite like refresh product. So I'm taking just one pump of that product and I'm going to just smooth it in my hands and apply it to my hair. Doing again a little bit of like a finger combing action, but nothing too serious. Up next, this is one of my new favorites. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. And this one's really great because it does provide a good amount of hold, but it's not stiff or crunchy at all. I feel like it has a slight cast when you first apply it, but you're able to really soften it easily while still maintaining a good amount of control over your curls and it's really inexpensive. I think I got it for like $7, so that's another plus in my book. So I really recommend this if you haven't tried it and you have curly or wavy hair, definitely suggest it. So I'm gonna apply about a dime-sized amount. Again, just smoothing it in my hands and raking it through my hair. Now that we have this section done, I'm going to start scrunching it. And I like to do each section, like scrunching separately. I just feel like you give a little bit more attention to that one specific area. So I would recommend if you are sectioning off your hair to make sure that you do each section. And then we're going to do some blow drying in a minute. But the main thing is to really treat each area separately. So we're starting to scrunch. And you won't hear like a squishing sound necessarily like you would when you normally wet style your hair, but that's okay. It's still gonna do a pretty decent job. It won't be exactly the same as day one hair, but you're gonna be able to reactivate your natural curl or wave pattern and get some nice results. So now we're ready to move on to these top two sections. So this big section, I'm just splitting down the middle and we're gonna treat these separately. Pretty much I'm just separating around where I like to have my parts so that then the hairs fall where they naturally would or where I want them to. We'll do the same exact process. We're going to wet the hair, use the leave-in conditioner, and then use the gel. So the front of my hair, just to make sure that everything looks really fresh, I like to do a little finger coiling. So I'm going to take this front piece right here and just twirl in the direction of the curl. And that makes a huge difference because that's going to be what people see the most are the pieces in the front of your hair. So just doing a little finger coiling keeps everything looking really fresh. And now onto our last section. And again, I'm just going to finger coil this front section to keep everything looking nice and fresh. Now that our hair is pretty much all ready, we can move on to diffusing. You can, of course, air dry your hair, and that's usually what I do when I do this routine. I pretty much do my hair first and then do my makeup and get ready for work, that kind of thing. And by the time I need to walk out the door, my hair is pretty much dry. Maybe I'll hit it with a diffuser for one or two minutes, but it's pretty much already dry. But for today, I'm going to hit it with a diffuser just to show you guys what it looks like because I know a lot of people tend to use a diffuser and I think it's the easiest or fastest way to get this complete. And it also adds a little boost of volume to the roots, so that's also a positive. So let's get to diffusing. I'm just using my standard Conair blow dryer with a Conair Pro diffuser attachment. Pretty basic. I just got this at the beauty supply shop. So it's pretty accessible and affordable. I think this blow dryer was like 30 bucks and I think the diffuser was less than 10. So a pretty good deal. I think I got this on Amazon, so I'll link it down below. I really like it. It's just nice and big and for my length of hair, I like to have a slightly larger diffuser attachment so I can collect hair in it. So I'm gonna hit it with medium heat and high air speed. And I like to adjust sometimes to a little bit of a high heat at the roots 
just to get a little bit more volume. Um, but typically I keep it to the medium heat level. If you're looking to avoid heat damage, you can definitely use the cool setting as well. It'll just take a little bit more time. All right, so our hair is 100% dry. It's nice and bouncy, and I love how these front little pieces turned out. The next thing I'm gonna do is just try to tame some of these little flyaways and frizz a little bit more. For that, I'm just gonna use one little spritz of my leave-in conditioner. I really like this one for just taming some frizz, and I'm just lightly raking through the top of my hair and just smoothing it down. I'm then gonna shake at the roots. I'm just promoting a little bit more volume. I feel like I got a decent amount of volume from the blow dryer, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just scrunching to remove any gel cast and raking at the roots a little bit. I love the amount of volume that I got. It just looks so fresh and you would never know that I haven't washed my hair in four days. By day four, you need a little bit more of an intensive refresh, so I do recommend wetting your hair a little bit more, um, sectioning it off so it gets that proper care and it really bounces back to life. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just fix my edges a little bit. I'm not huge on edges and doing like styles and swoops and all that, but I like to clean it up just so that like these little baby hairs look a little bit more like Put together not so frizzy so for that I'm going to use my toothbrush and the same exact gel I've been using if you have an edge control product that you really enjoy go for that but for every day I don't mind just using my gel and using a very small amount it works for me and it does tame those flyaways pretty well um, so that's what I'm gonna do so with my old toothbrush just applying very little so I'm doing this very simply just to tame my hair, like I said. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to shake at the roots one last time so we can get ultimate volume for our hair. So there we have it. These are the final results. I love how my hair looks and how it feels. It's really light and bouncy. As you guys saw in my last video, my hair is still in recovery mode. I'm really trying to treat it, and it's not in its optimal state. But that being said, I'm really happy with how my routine for refreshing my hair has been working out. I've just been avoiding using too many detergents or harsh products. Washing your hair does impact its health, so even though I use products that are sulfate-free and pretty gentle, you know, refreshing your hair just prevents you from having to wash it one more day. And, you know, it just helps balance out your hair. My hair feels super healthy right now, and even though it's on its road to recovery, I'm really happy with the results, and I feel like they look really nice. What do you guys think? Okay guys, that is it for my refresh routine. Like I said, it's been working really well for my hair and I've really enjoyed how easy it is. I'm just using those two simple products and my hair looks super fresh and I love it. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave comments down below if you have any suggestions for other curly hair related videos for me. I'd love to record more and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed and hit subscribe. Bye.